Hello, I'm Chuck Gunn with the Fluke Corporation. I'm here on behalf of Photronic Corporation and Test Equipment Depot to talk to you about the new Fluke 754 Documenting Process Calibrator. The Fluke 754 is a very powerful multifunction calibrator that lets you download procedures, lists, and instructions that you create with software, or you can upload data for printing, archiving, and analysis. It features a built-in heart interface capable of performing day-to-day -day tasks that you now perform with a separate communicator. For existing Fluke 740 series end users, as well as the new end user, this calibrator will measure volts, milliamps, RTDs, thermocouples, frequency, and ohms that allow you to test sensors, transmitters, and other instruments. You can also source simulate volts, milliamps, thermocouples, RTDs, frequency and ohms, and pressure to calibrate transmitters. You can measure and source any one of the 29 fluke pressure modules, and then you can also create and run as found and as left calibration procedures that will help you record and document your results. Believe it or not, you can hold up to one week of downloaded procedures and calibration results. This unit has a three-year warranty. It comes with a bright white dual display, rechargeable lithium-ion batteries that will give you up to 10 hours of uninterrupted use. And it comes also with the DPC track sample software. This calibrator supports the popular models of heart transmitters and it offers the communication capabilities of the 375 heart communicator. For a simple demonstration, what I want to do is output 1 volt DC, and I'm going to measure that 1 volt back into the calibrator to show you how the as found and as left calibration process would work. So let's be begin by selecting the function. In this case, we're going to measure 1 volt DC. So we'll select DC volts. Next, we're going to source. So we're going to select our source, select DC volts, hit volts, 1.0, enter. Now we're outputting 1 volt DC. The next step, I'm going to split the screen. Splitting the screen means I get to see the measure and source values simultaneously. Notice that we have an as found step function, and I'm going to use the as found to set up our process. I'm going to select a linear instrument, enter. I'm going to select the measure. So we're at zero percent of value is going to be zero volts. Enter. 100 percent of value is one volt. Enter. Tolerance we've selected is one percent. Enter. We have the ability to delay if we want to. That would be used for looking at relays or, or switches. We're going to bypass this since we won't have any contact bounce. We're going to the source. 0% of value here is 0 volts. 100% of value would be 1 volt. Next, we get to select our test strategy. Once I've highlighted the test strategy, if I hit the Enter button, it allows me to select from a, a list. And in this case, we're going to pick 5 up and down. These are skewed in 25% increments. We hit Enter tell the system we're done putting together the test procedure and now it's as simple as pushing the auto test button. We're testing right now. Notice that an error will appear if we are out of tolerance and you can see that we're proceeding in 25% increments. 
once we get to one hundred percent of value which we're at right now we'll start to go back down for seventy five percent of value fifty percent of value twenty five percent of value and now back to zero at this point on the screen we see our source data our measure data and notice that there's no error the next thing we have to do is tell it we're done and in this case we have to assign a tag number a tag number would be something that you as the owner of a transmitter or a device that you're testing would put in the tag so let's select a different tag number we'll say number four five six we'll hit enter enter brings up an alphanumeric screen we can put letters in if we want We'll arrow down to serial number. Serial number would be the serial number that was assigned by the manufacturer of the transmitter. In this case, we're going to say number 789. Hit enter. Again, the same alpha screen comes up if we want. Tell it we're done. Hit done again. Once the as-found calibration is done, if needed, we can do an adjustment. Push the adjust button, and notice that we can go to 100% of value with the push of a button. We can go to the 0%, or we can go to 50% of value, again with a push of one button. After that, we'd want to do an as-left calibration. We hit the as-left button. It asks us if we want to use the same procedure, including the same test strategy. Until we're done, we're going to go over to auto test and follow the same path. Do the test in 25% steps. We're at 50% right now, 75%, 100% of value. We're going to work our way back down. 75%. 50%, 25%, we're back to zero. At this stage, we check to see what our error looked like. We tell it we're done. Make sure that the tag is the same, that we didn't switch out the transmitter. Tell it we're done. Tell it we're done again do a save. Once we've saved, it tells us the date we've saved it and where it's located in the memory. We hit continue, make sure that we have the same tag number, tell it we're done. And we've just done a complete procedure. I'm Chuck Gunn. Thanks for watching. We hope to see you again soon.